So you're trying to use more colors in your reports and it's just not looking right and you're getting frustrated. I just want to give you a quick hack for fixing that. I start using a little more color a little more effectively. So the easiest place to start is just using a more monochromatic kind of layout. And there's a couple of tips for doing this right. So first choose a base background color, maybe something from your brand or your brand style guide, doesn't matter. Then you're going to add a darker segment on top of it. You can do this by inserting a rectangle, it's under the insert tab, making it black and then making it really transparent and just adjust the transparency wheel until it gets to the point where it looks good to you. That wheel's right over here, this is where you adjust it. And if that little menu's not showing up, just right click your shape and hit format shape and you'll see that menu. That's going to give you a nice base color to use. Make sure these are dark enough that you can use white text and it's readable. That's a good test. And then for everything you put up here, stick with white text and white for the formatting of your lines and bars and everything else as much as you can. Try not to introduce too many other colors up here if you can avoid it. Then if you have other segments of your page where you actually have to have areas to input data or your data tables, you're just going to use a white background and you're going to use a darker text. In this case, if you're using blue, use a very dark blue instead of a black for the text itself. And if you need other sections, use that same blue color we used for the sections that you want to add maybe contextual information or charts into. And this is going to give you a report that looks pretty good most of the time. You can also do the opposite approach with a dark background and then use a white shape that's mostly transparent to create these segments. And a safe bet if you need to use some other colors is grays, neutrals, those kinds of colors are typically going to be pretty safe and look pretty good. If you get to a point where you want to start using more colors, first things first, get a color palette that you're already using for something else like a PowerPoint or a website and start with that color palette. Picking colors on your own is a little tricky. It takes practice. You don't want to start there. So start with a good set of colors that are already being used in something else. And the secret to doing this well, and this is what most people skip, is just being willing to make little adjustments and seeing if it looks better or worse with each adjustment. So if I choose an orange here and it doesn't look right at first, I'll try a slightly different orange and see if that looks better or worse. Or a slightly different shade or hue altogether. I might go with something a little more red or a little more yellow. Try those adjustments. Don't be scared to iterate. It's okay. Nobody gets it right the first time, not even me. But you will get better as you do that. It takes a little time, but you will get the hang of it. What I tell people is the worst thing you can do is just pick a bunch of colors, throw them on there. They don't look great, but you just kind of use them anyway because you're not sure what to do. That's not going to give you the results you want. So either stick to something simple like a monochromatic kind of color palette like this, or if you're going to use more colors, take the time to tweak them and adjust them until they look good to you. It's worth it. It makes a big difference. And once you do it once, you can use it on all your reports moving forward. Hope that helps everyone. Have a good one. Bye for now.